All right, today's video is going to be a short, quick one. Uh, I wasn't able to record myself during the trades. I did record the actual trades besides the first one because my trading software just stopped working during it. Um, luckily, I caught it and was able to start it again for the second and third trade, so you can see that. But I'll, I'll just go over them quickly um, right now. And then if you guys want to watch like the actual play out, you can. Uh, but you don't have to because we'll just talk about them right now. Uh, again, we're on a 50k evaluation account through Apex Trader. It's March 23rd, so you still have like a week left to get 80% off any of their accounts. Uh, this one was only 38 $39 a month, I believe. So it's pretty heavily discounted. You can use coupon code SAVE80. If you want to help us out here on this channel, you can use the link in the description. Um, but you don't have to. You can just go to apextrader.com and enter a coupon code there. If you're watching this video after March, I do have a coupon code uh, for 50% off still. So pretty good deal. Uh, not the 80%, but 50s better than nothing um, so just getting into the trades we were just absolutely ripping this morning of course when I decided to get in we had this consolidation air er um, area uh, I was wanting to play this channel between these two bands right here and so I sold up here at the top making sure you can see this good um, I sold up here at the top we did start making our way down we made it like halfway to the bottom band and then started making our way back up so I got out right here for a small profit uh, we had three con three micro Nasdaq contracts um, I think I ended that with like $26 or so better than giving back obviously I wanted it to go down to 900 um, but I was proud that I realized this wasn't working out and just got out still in the green However, we did go up, test the band again, and then come back down. And I'm like, well, damn, let me get back in where I got out because it looks like it's gonna go back down. And so I got in a second lot of three contracts. So now we're in six contracts thinking, oh, we broke through, we're gonna go down and test this band. Again, low 900s. We kind of did, I probably should have got out of 912 and then we just started ripping up. I ended up reversing right here. I think that's what happened. I reversed right here, so I was in three now buys. I think I was in three buys. I added three more up here, thinking that we were breaking through these like 45 levels on the uh, five minute chart from like yesterday. Probably not a good idea because it was kind of at the top of this channel and I should be waiting to break out of it. So now we're in six by six longs and we're coming down towards the bottom of the range. Um, I got into another lot of three. So now we're up to, to nine contracts on the micros. And we we're down here, we just kept testing this standard deviation. I had a stop right beneath it just in case we did break through like this pretty clear um, indication that we're breaking out of this channel now and then I believe right about here you'll see I added another three to make it three micros that was an accident I meant to take off three to go from nine to six to take some risk off the table because we'd kept bouncing on this and I'm like and I really don't want to break through that and have a quick sweep down um, I clicked buy, I meant to click sell and get out of three. So now we're in 12 micros. Luckily it did start coming up. This was kind of like a slow process. Um, and then you'll see here, I just started getting out of, I got out of three here, three here, and then three here. End of the day, 80 bucks in profit. Um, I'm okay with how this went today. Could have done better. Um, I should have just stayed playing this range because we stayed in it for a while. So I could have just kept selling the top, buying the bottom, selling the top, buying the bottom. I did it 
once and then immediately started thinking about the breakout. I need to stop thinking about the breakout. And if I do think about the breakout, I need to wait for the breakout. I try to get in before the breakout happens, wanting to catch the whole ride. I need to wait for confirmation of the breakout um, or just play the ranges. So I ended up just getting out of everything um, for a small profit. Um, came back from a, a little bit on the red. I took a little bit too much heat on this, uh, especially because I accidentally added 12 micros when I did not want to go that high. I, I meant to take risk off the table. So at least I had the right thinking. Uh, I just clicked the wrong button. Um, of course, that accident could have netted us a ton of money. Um, had I just held on longer because this thing just rips uh, we were in like 12 contracts down in like the 40s and could have had like a 60 70 point trade with 12 micros but I wasn't willing to hold on that long I was getting out as soon as I was getting in the green I just didn't want to deal with it so that's today's videos um, if you guys are still sticking around enjoy watching the trades actually play out um, other than that, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, if you guys did trade yesterday during the Fed uh, speaking, let me know how you did. Curious how that went. Um, yeah. Talk to you guys later.